Hey there, I got a complete and utter surprise in the mail yesterday. One of my friends, Jamissa, sent me the Jasmine back at Griffith Halloween book, which I really, really wanted for ages. It's come out recently. It is Jasmine's second colouring book. All the artwork in this book is taken from her original paintings. There are 55 of her art pieces in this book with 46 pages in total to colour and the publisher is Blue Angel Publishing. So you get on this book there's a dust cover with a plain craft card book cover, some info about Jasmine the artist on the inside flap of the dust jacket. We've got all the information about the publishers and the year it was made this year. Dedications. No dedication. Haha. <laughs> Other than for personal use, no part of this book may be reproduced in any way, in whole or in part, without the written consent of the copyright holder or publisher. And the line drawings for this book are created by Jenna Phelan. So on this page here she has given you an introduction and written a bit about her books and her artwork. And she says that this book is aimed primarily at grown-ups but it is suitable for all ages. There are detailed intricacies for those of you who love to lose yourselves in meditative detail and there are broad patches and fun characters for those who like to take a simpler approach, which is really nice too. Another thing I really, really like about this book is that you get all the information about the original artwork on the page opposite to the colouring page itself, which is a really nice touch. So now I will flick through it and show you all the pages. So there's not only characters in here, but there's some animals to colour as well. It's a really good book for this time of year because Halloween is coming. Some butterflies, lots of skulls. If you love skulls, this is a good book for you. Wow, I'm, I've got a big thing about skulls. I really like this one. The pages are really good too. They're not too thin and flimsy. You can still just about see the artwork through the pages, but not too bad. And they've got a really nice feel to them as well. They're not flimsy. I still would recommend if you're using markers though to um, put a couple of pieces of paper or a piece of cardstock behind the image you're colouring on so you don't bleed through to the image below. It's such a nice book, it would be a shame to destroy pages. Of course. I really like these little ones as well. They're good for when you don't have quite so much time and you can just do one or two of these little Little frame pictures. There's another wolf and a dragon. Cats. 
some wolves. This one's Call of the Night. Another of the little pages. There's such a nice range of artwork in this book. It really is good. I love this one with the voodoo doll. That's the um, same little voodoo doll there. It's so cute. If you think voodoo dolls are cute, I'm a bit of a strange one. And this one has to be one of my favourite pieces of art by Jasmine, so I'm really excited to colour this one. And that's the artwork from the front cover. Voodoo in blue. And a witch and have flying monkey to finish off with. And this page just has a little bit more information about the publisher. And on the back of the dust jacket it's got a QR code so you can hop straight to Jasmine's website, the publisher's website even. And you can look at all the full colour versions of the paintings featured in this book there as well. And the back cover has some part coloured previews and all the information too. So there we go. Jasmine Beskett Griffith, Halloween colouring book, a spine tingling fantasy art adventure.